Well, good morning, everybody. Finally, the rain has stopped freaking coming down for a day or two. So I can work on this, uh, my rear quarter panels, the uh, archways of the rear tires need to be replaced. I just peeled off the rhino lining that was around it and it looked fairly good, except for the very top looked a little rusty, but let me show you what I got. right through this is all just falling right off it's all gonna cut all that metal out of there it's gonna be a wonderful mess that rust stopped there but over here it's gone down further so i might have to go deeper into that of course but that's the mess i got to start with today i got the panels in the in the garage, I have never taken them out of the box yet, so hopefully they're the right ones, because I just tore this down. <laughs> we'll see. The fun begins, finally. Well, been working on for a little bit. I'm um, just trying to get the panel fitted. Uh, cut out all the bad metal. Most of the rusted metal. I'm trying to see how I want to put this panel. I'm trying to cut it around the Z71 sticker, so I don't have to take that off. I'll show you what I got, anyway. Yeah, there's a panel. I just got it sitting up there for now. So I cut around that Z71 sticker. Rust came a little bit below the panel, but I'm just gonna. It should be. It'll be what it'll be. I rivet it and JB welded up there. Right, this spot right here. It's been rusting for a while. I don't know. What, it was a little dent there. I don't know. It was there when I bought the truck. So I just sanded it out. I've been touching it up with auto body paint for a while, but it's starting to rust through a little bit. Not rust through, but rust on the surface. So I sanded that all down, and I'll get that with this, hopefully. There's a little bit of Bondo and Grotelin through there around the edges of this. Panel fits all right. I mean, it was scratched up a little bit when I got it, but whatever, it's going to get sanded up before I paint it anyway. But... That's it. I'll take that panel down in a minute and I'll show you how much I had to cut out of it. Well, I took the panel off. This is my prep area so far. Put that panel back up. I gotta go get some drill bits. I forgot I broke every eighth inch drill bit I had when I did my rockers. So now I need a few more eighth inch drill bits to put some rivets in this. In the meantime, I'm gonna spray the rust area with this stuff. Had a little bit left, I need to pick up some more. I'll put it underneath in here, inside there where it's got some rust still on it. And uh, hopefully and on these edges here, there's one edge there and an edge there. Hopefully that'll slow it down anyway for a little while. And I'll prime it before I uh, put that whole panel on in there. I'm gonna keep this metal exposed. I'll have to rough it up a little bit because I'm gonna put, um, uh, JB Weld right here meeting these seams on that edge and I'll rivet up around here and I'll, sp I'll spray this first with right now primer I'm not sure if I'll spray it with something else as well or not but we'll see but that's my plan it ain't gonna be perfect again this is a 2012 I just went over 150,000 on this just gonna make it last a little while longer I'm right, getting the areas taped off before I throw some primer. I want to take this panel off. You can see I've got it marked in spots and I've pre drilled the rivet holes. So I better line it right back up the way she was. That'll work. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of uh, me working on my uh, rear quarter panels. Um, I got uh, the driver's side one pretty much all done. Uh, I got it 
taped up and stuff to get ready to paint. But I, what I do want to do is I'm going to grind the edges down so I can feather the, um, feather the, um, what is it, the Bondo to it. And um, then I'll paint it. So I'm leaving it at that right now. And then I'm going to work on the other side and get that prepped um, for the same thing. So I can put the Bondo and paint them roughly around the same time. Uh, just that way, if you get some Bondo open and you, you've got a little bit too much for one side, you can just go to the other side and start putting some more so without wasting it. So I'll show you what I got right here, and I'll show you where I'm with the other side. So as I can look at the other side right now, it doesn't look as bad as the driver's side was, but you know how that goes. You start tearing into it and find a big mess underneath that rhino lining that you never saw. So I'll show you what I got here. Well, here it is. I just got the... Area is taped up a little bit. I still got to tape up that bumper area. But um, you can see I got that on there. Um, I think I might put some more rivets in that afterwards before I put the Bondo to it, just to be safe and sorry. We'll see down at that far end and then maybe a couple at the top. We'll see. Um, I did have some, uh, what is it? Uh, what was it? JB Weld I put on the, on the, edge all around there where I cut out the bad metal and it seemed met up with that seam I put JB weld in there try and keep that more like water tight um, I decided to go a different route for the other side um, I couldn't find the right JB weld they just had lots of plastic JB welds and stuff so I bought uh, something else and I'll show you what I'm gonna use for the other side it's a lot more of it so I can run the top seam as well as the bottom seam but hopefully it works we'll see well, here's the other side, as you can see by that rhino lining coming off at the bottom, that's probably all gone. Uh, you can see where there's supposed to be some screws there and they're not there, so either that rhino lining just pulled out of the screws or the screws have fallen completely out of it. But Yeah, and I got to see, you see some more rust over there too, so that might get into a situation over there, we'll see. But this is the mess I got to deal with on this side. I'll show you what it looks like after I cut all the bad metal. All right, there's, there's my panel outline. I was kind of worried about this side over here, but it does go down below that rust spot. So I'll be all right there. I'm just gonna have to trim around this sticker like I did on the other side. But uh, I took out, pounded out a bunch of, you can see all the scrap over there and I threw a bunch of stuff over there but back over here I'm gonna take the uh, cutoff wheel on my um, my grinder and come over here and grind that out like I did before I didn't grind I cut it I'll cut it through in here cut up around all the way through and part of that stuff down there as well cut all that out there was only one screw up here holding this stuff on. That one here, the one over there is missing. I did buy some more, so I have some to put on when I put that back together, as long as it works. <laughs> it was kind of a chore last time getting it on on the other side, but I finally got it. But that's what it is. I got the panel up there. Everything seems to be fitting all right. Just got to make sure I was getting them that area there where that rust is. I'll cut it all out and show you what I got when I'm done there. Got that custom customize it up to the panel of the truck. I'm not gonna. I got a primer underneath it first before I do anything else, so it's not not ready to go yet. But it's getting there. It's gonna fit pretty good. I think these fenders fit better than the rockers did, but. I'll definitely get a video of uh, what the underneath looks like before I um, finish it up. And I did uh, put some of that, I don't know if you can see, that, that rust inhibitor stuff on it already. Same thing I did on the other side. Especially that underneath panel of rust that was there. I scrubbed it as much as I could and stuff, but I'm getting it. Slowly but surely. Well, I just got the other side put on. I use a flex seal instead of the uh, JB Weld this time because it comes with a lot more of it and I got to do the outer 
rim and an inner rim and uh, I still riveted it so and then I'm gonna also bow into it so that's, that's what it is so far right there he's on just gotta let that cure for a while might take the rest of the day off we'll see it's like 88 degrees so I need to go in the house and get some liquid in me and some food and take a break for a bit but next step will be going back to the other side and grinding the edge so I can uh, start doing bondo over there. That'll probably be this evening though. You know, I'm gonna take the grinder and try to uh, thin this down a little bit, taper it down. So when I put the bondo, it'll taper on. So it doesn't make quite such a abrupt visual thing to see but same with all gonna go all around this whole edge try to just taper that down a little bit let's see how she goes morning everybody i'm out here uh working on the truck again trying to work these uh rear quarter panels uh this driver's side here when i did first i was finally able to get some uh thought it was gonna be bondo even on the back of the bottle you look at is bondo but it's actually a fiberglass and i'm trying to use this tool here to take off all the high spots before i can put a sander to it it's a uh, it's a mess i don't like using that fiberglass stuff it's probably stronger than the bondo so it's better in that aspect but it's a pain in the rear end to work with if you don't mix that <clears throat> um, hardener just right it starts hardening up too fast and it gets stuck on places you don't want it to be <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience using this stuff, so I'm sure somebody else who has a lot more experience can tell me a few things, but this is what I'm working on right now, taking all this high stuff down, feeling that. You gotta work on all this stuff. Then I'll put the sander to it after that. It's a slow process, but it looks better than it did, that's for sure. Well, this is my first using that yellow thing and then using the sander. Uh, mark spots where I think I'm doing all right and then areas like here where I'm gonna need more filler. But it's getting there, it's slow, slow process. Takes a lot of sanding. More likely I'm gonna have to go back into town and get more sandpaper. Hopefully I can get this done with what sandpaper I have and buy some more for the other side, but it takes a lot of sanding. But it's getting there. Slowly but surely. Hopefully I get this side done and painted today. That'll I'll be happy about that. We'll see. <laughs> it's fiberglass. You just keep getting all these little holes like that. And you just fill it over and you get more. And you fill it over and you get more. Just It keeps doing that. I don't know why. How do you fix that? It's a pain in the rear end. We'll see. Certainly better than it was anyway. All that rust, a big pile of rust over there. Rust and rhino liner and whatever else come out of it. We'll see. All right, I got round two of Bondo on there, letting that cure up. I drove the truck, turned it around, so I gotta go back over here and uh, work on that side. All right, here I am now back on Passion side, getting ready to do this. I'm gonna grind the edges down a little bit and take those uh, rivets down a little bit. Um, so they'll be more f easier to blend in with that Bondo. That Bondo is a pain in the ass because it's that fiberglass stuff and it doesn't b blend very well. I can't find the white stuff. Every time I try and think I'm buying some, it ends up being the fiberglass stuff. So I don't know what, if they don't make it anymore or what's going on with that. I'm gonna work on this one now. Oh, grinded that edge is all down and load the rivets a little bit. And now I got my first coat of that fiberglass bondo started. And I just gotta let it cure for a while before I can sand it. The other side's curing as well, so I get to take a little break, I guess. 
Ain't gonna be perfect, but it's certainly gonna be better than it was. Well, it's getting there, slowly but surely. Takes a lot of sanding, a lot of sandpaper. You start sanding, you better expect to have all kinds of sandpaper. I'm just using 100 grit, taking it down with the rigid sander there. Slowly but surely, still got all that crap on the top. I gotta put more filler in again. But it's getting there. I'll show you the other side. Here's the other side with the Bondo all cured up and ready to start sanding. But it's noontime, so I'm gonna get something to eat, some water, take a little break for a little bit before I come back out, sand away some more. One fun stuff. Oh, she's getting there. A little bit more sanding. Getting nice and smooth though. So I'll just sand down here a little bit. Down in this little groove here, still a little bit, but it's getting there. Started pouring rain, so I had to stop everything. What even supposed to rain? Wasn't there? You know, mention of rain at all on the forecast, but these pop-up thunder showers coming through, so it ended up raining three different times last night, so I had to stop, and I was not able to come back out here, so I had some exposed metal. It's got a tiny bit of rust starting, and down over there in that corner, about a light, definitely. I gotta take care of that. Always something. It's getting there. And I gotta start on the other side. Right down this side, it's getting not too bad. Yeah, looking good. Well, I just put a can of spray paint on it. You know, black. And you can still see all kinds of stuff from the Bondo, but I mean, when I had it all sanded, it felt really good to hand, and then I Sprayed it with primer and it looked really good with the gray primer, but as soon as you put black on it, black shows every little stupid thing. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll probably buy another can of paint. That was a whole can of paint on this side. I'll buy another can and do it again. Um, just wanna have it protected. So again, it's an old truck, 2012, 150,000 miles on it, so. I ain't too worried about it, just as long as, you know, the rust is gone for a little while, so it lasts another couple of years, hopefully, as long as the motor holds out. It's doing okay, but you can definitely, I mean, hit it in the light just right, and you can see all kinds of issues with the Bondo. Not perfect, but it is what it is. I got to turn this truck around and start sanding down the other side. I'll give you some more footage of that in a second. This is the passenger side. I got... This one coat of the um, fiberglass. Now this is the first coat of the um, Bondo being sanded and now I just put on a second coat of Bondo in spots that still need it. I'm getting ready to rasp that down to one level and then I'll sand that again. Hopefully getting close to getting matched up here. Getting tired of doing this work. <laughs> This is the passenger side. I got the primer on it. Uh, I gotta go to the store and buy more uh, black paint enamel, automotive enamel for the truck. I'm gonna put one more coat of black over there. I'm gonna put two coats of black over here. I'll do this, I'll sand this primer first and touch it up if I need any. I got a little bit of primer left. And then I will uh, put two coats of black on it. Hopefully that'll be good. I think this side's turning out better than the other side, actually. But it always looks good with the gray on it. The second you put the black on it, everything just stands right out. Any blemish that you could possibly have made <laughs> stands out like a sore thumb after you get the black on it. But, like I said, she's an old truck. She'll pass inspection for a little while longer anyway, hopefully. 
there's the passenger side. I got it all primed up and I just sanded it lightly to get ready to put black coat on it. See how that one turns out. The other side, once I put the black coat on, I see I got a lot more, I don't know, a lot more bite. I would like to probably do a little bit more sanding on it, trying to level it out some more because I have Bondo more ripples in it than I thought. I mean, look at this. I mean, it looks great right now. So when you put black on it, any little tiny thing will show up. You could turn the whole truck gray and look great. <laughs> but I gotta try and match the black paint. Not match it, but you know what I'm saying. It's all taped up, ready to paint. I just wiped it all down with a wet cloth. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and I'll be back out here, put a coat of black paint on it. Hey folks, I'm sorry. It's been uh, a long time since I've got to finish off this video. I apologize for that. Um, I've just been so busy, it's getting close to deer season now. So I've been driving my truck everywhere. So I'm just gonna show you a quick one side of this uh, uh, rear wheel arch sort of got finished and how it's held up so far. It's doing all right. Ain't perfect, but certainly gonna get me by. Let me show you. All right, there's the rear wheel arch. You can see the line up top. Certainly ain't perfect, but it's doing all right. Held a lot better than it was all falling apart and rusted through. I didn't have a, the right kind of sander and stuff to get that level nor the enough bondo or the right bondo or the time didn't have to weld it or weld it in it was all riveted so certainly perfect but stand back a few feet looks just fine to me the other side is pretty much the same way